Hello everybody and welcome to Harumi. Harumi is a town in Chuo Ward, which is one of Tokyo's 23 wards, and it is a new town. You can see Harumi Dori, which has been around for a very long time. And over here on the corner is a brand new building, and it says here Google on the side. <laughs> We're gonna kind of discover what this is. How you doing, everybody? I'm John. This is Kanai. She decided to join us uh, uh, for today's walk. Street View episode of Harumi, which is kind of a new town in the city of Tokyo. Now, this town has been established. It's a landfill island, meaning that it was uh, taken from debris from uh, the Great Kanto earthquake, and part of it was used to create this island that we're on. And for a very long time, there was almost nothing here except for factories. In the 1990s, you started to see a lot of construction, a lot of high-rise apartments that you see behind me, and where we're gonna be taking you, which is the Olympic Village for the 2020 Olympics, which is complete. But I don't know if we can get in there. We might have to climb some fences. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But this, this area is undergoing what I guess is like a renaissance, meaning a lot of people are coming in here to live. And I wanted to show you today what it looks like in 2020. This is a this is a live video. We're going to be doing this. You'll be able to see this as a playback. So I'm going to try to put a uh, table of contents so you can skip around because it might get a little bit long. I'll give you some of the history as well of this area, but we're going to be starting with this building. This is brand new and it's made of wood and we're going to get a chance to walk in there. It's kind of unique and I don't think a lot of a lot of people in Tokyo know about it at all. It's called the, um, what is it, CTL Project. And uh, part of the Harumi area is a theme that's going to be part of the 2020 Olympics, which is wood and food trucks, maybe, because that looks really good. And if there's food trucks, that means Kanai is going to be looking for some, some feed Kanai hashtags here. Now, this is the Chuo City uh, Chuo Ward in English, but some people call it Chuo City. It's one of the 23 wards of Tokyo. And you can see already on the map, it's, it's very boxy. It's very new. Here's Harumi Island. And this is Tsukishima Island. Now, one thing that makes this area really inconvenient to visit and for people who want to live here is that this right here is the only subway station that is around. And in Tokyo, you usually want to be within 10 minutes of a train station. In Harumi, you don't have that luxury. The island goes all the way to this point, which is a beautiful point on the on the Bay of Tokyo Bay. But if you're going to get here, you have to go here and walk, and it's about a 20-minute walk towards the Olympic Village. So uh, we're right here on the corner of Harumi, Dori, and uh, I don't even know what the other road is called yet. Right, there's Kachidoki. You have to walk across the bridge to this point. And this building here in front of us is so new, they don't even have a listing for it. We're going to be walking in this live stream today up this way towards where the Olympic Village starts, which is right here. But this area, right in this area, just past this police station, that's where the 19, um, after the 1940 failed Olympics and after World War II, Japan had trade shows like the uh, Tokyo uh, um, automobile show was held at this at a trade fair that was on this island but after the 1970s and 80s it deteriorated so much they decided to move that over to big site and some of the other convention halls are like Makuhari so there's a monument over there that we're gonna get a chance to look at uh, I'll be giving you some history of Harumi Island as we walk along so buckle in this is gonna be a, a good one hour including some possible avocado roast beef from New York that Kanai has been eyeing Oh, you said New York. I said that one. Oh, the other one's from New York. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. New York representing <laughs> Mr. Halal. Mr. Halal from New York. What? <laughs> what? I didn't know New York was was so halal. Chicken That's good. It's bizarre, but me likey. Support our local businesses. Chicken over rice. Oh, chicken over rice. That sounds so nice. This one, but I don't know. There's something about this roast beef avocado thing. Wow. I don't know. I, I didn't expect street food out here. This is crazy. We might have to go and do that. Hey, Raymond Centeno's here. 
we need to feed Kanai after all. Kanai's lunch has been sponsored by that. <laughs> and, and Gamecock Jenny, hello there from South Carolina. Thanks, Jenny. Let's go inside this, this um, structure here. I'll take you in really, really nice and slow. Already we can see the wood and smell the wood. Wow, it smells so fresh in here. What? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, go jump on it, Kanai, because that's what kids would do. Oh, you're moving those cherry blossoms. Stop it. All right, do it more, do it more. That's so cool. She, you could dance here. You gonna dance for us? No? <laughs> Not even Tony can get her to dance. But Tony, you can get me to dance. <laughs> So this is a really beautiful building here. There's not a lot of people in the area, so I'm, I'm gonna take the mask off for now and, and use that for later. But uh, apparently, I guess this is something that's built by both Mitsubishi and Google have come together to make this. Welcome to new member Steven, Steven TWK. Thank you. It's pretty amazing in here. But most amazing to me, I think we're, we're gonna get a, a closer look at what is the theme of this island, Harumi, which is wood. This is Japanese wood. It doesn't say don't touch. I guess these are like little benches for, yeah. for, oh yeah, you can sit on them. We have people over there sitting on them. But you can smell the wood. It smells so good, fresh. Some unique designs in these things here. What is it? I'm not really sure. Nandaro, kore. No, this area. It's playground. I like I like how the digital the digital um, images move with your feet on them. That's so cool. Uh, I don't know. This is just a, a, like a really unique building that we found um, coming through here, and it's so new. It's not really open yet. So I guess by the time you see this, you come to Tokyo, you might want to walk through this area, especially if you're staying in a hotel nearby. Now this island, Harumi, is such a, such a close, um, like a 30 minute walk from Ginza, it's really close. And actually, during the 2016 Olympic bid, they were thinking about putting the, putting the Olympic stadium on this island. It was such a beautiful spot. I remember seeing the plans uh, for the Olympic stadium for 2016. I kind of wish that we had the Olympics then, of course, but it was supposed to be on the tip of Harumi Island, the stadium. This beautiful stadium with lights. That means if you were on a boat looking into Harumi, you would see the stadium right on the tip of the water. It would have been so stunning, but the plans fell through. The biggest, the biggest holdup for this was the fact that you had to, you had to, there was no public transportation to get to the stadium. So they were thinking about building a uh, train line from Ginza into the, the stadium, you remember that? And Ginza used to have uh, streetcars in there, but they took those away, I guess in the 1970s and 1980s when the, the uh, subway lines came in here. Oh, wow. This looks like a Kengo Kuma design. Yeah, I can smell wood. Whoa, I smell so much fresh wood. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is really beautiful. I'm gonna pan up. Tourist information center or something. Ah, yeah. Tourist, Japan tourism. Yeah. Mm. It's very modern. It is very modern. Yeah. But I like what they've done with the Olympics. The 2020 Olympic Stadium is made out of wood from all 47 prefectures of Japan. And, uh,. <laughs> It seems like Google is also using this as a place to show the inroads that it's made in Japan. Look at that map over there, divided up in Google colors. <laughs> we cannot fault Google because this is uh, YouTube, which is part of Google. Okay, well, let's go take a look over here. We're gonna be walking now from this area. There's almost nobody around us, so you don't have to wear a mask in Harumi, thankfully. Really? I, I, don't, think, I don't think you need it because it is, it is so hot and I don't want, I don't want Kanai to get, 
Yeah. Cafe. Oh, it is a cafe. I don't know if it's open. Let's take a quick look see inside. Wow, this open. does look really nice. We're just gonna do a little panning here. It seems it seems open. Oh look, there's I guess we can go inside there. That's really nice. A lot of wood. It's a wood sofa, can I? Can we get that for our apartment? Look at that. I didn't know that this area. Oh, really? I know. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know about this area either. This is like Secret. sort of our neighborhood. Secret point. Secret. <laughs> That's right. That's what you subscribe for. Top secret points of, of Tokyo, right? Yeah. It's a top secret. New York decided to move in here. Hey, Matsumi is an insider. Thank you all so much for joining the memberships here. Alicia Martin's in the house. Put in, put in. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Jed, welcome. Another traveler. Jeff Kennedy, welcome. Ginkak Jenny is also a traveler. Oh, insider. <laughs> you want, did you want to get something to eat before we do the, the walk, can I? I don't know, up to you. Or we can come back here. Yeah. All right, let's come back here. All right, let's, let's get a move on now. We're gonna walk down Harumi Dori and take you towards the Olympic Village now. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about Kabola, thank you from Denmark. Big shout out from Kabola. I'm gonna take you now through here. This, again, like when I think of Harumi, I think of, I think of like the seaside and, and open, open skies because there aren't a lot of high rise buildings here to, traditionally, culturally. But now they've really started to come pop up and there are sky rise apartments all over the place all right now we're back on the street so i probably need our mask can i the olympic village is about a 10 minute walk from here towards one of the police there's also a police headquarters down here as well a brand new building gosh what are these like meeting rooms for google Googleicious. This is Googleicious. Can I open it? <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I, no, I wouldn't touch this. Touch the window. Leave my mark. That's awful. All right, let's get down. Let's move towards the Olympic Village. Which is surprisingly done. We rode down here to scout out the area. We could find out that we, we saw that the Olympic Village was, looked like all the buildings were complete. Out here, a lot of people have moved here starting last year. More people have come into the apartment complexes. There's a corporation called Harumi Flag, F-L-A-G. It's hard to hear me through the mask. And Harumi Flag has been selling properties in fact, in the Olympic Village that we're going to go to, yeah. 600 units went up for sale, all right? And of the 600 units, 1,500 people applied for them. So that means there's like 2.5 or 2.7 people for every apartment. They're in high demand, the Olympic Village's apartments, and they'll be putting more up. Uh, so if you, if you want to get one, I think it, they start at like 52 million yen or something which is pretty expensive. It's like $500,000 it starts. And the most expensive one was, I think like a million dollars. I think it was, it was more than that. Wait, hold on a second. 52 million yen and it was like $7 million or something for this massive apartment. There's still a lot of construction going on here. Look at that apartment, that's really unique. Is it a hotel? Oh, that looks like one of the hotels from the 1970s. Th they had hotels coming in here for the trade show. 
Yeah, it is. That's an old hotel, Kanai. It is really hot in Tokyo. It's really uncomfortable to be wearing a mask. We're gonna brave it out for you because we have people, when we're around areas of people, you, you should be wearing a mask, everybody. So a passenger ferry, this is the area that was very, very famous for having trips to, okay, there's no people here, trips to Antarctica would leave from here. Harumi. Do you remember the name of the ship? I know you can go and you can go see the Antarctic expedition ships from Japan at uh, uh, Funabashi area, which is uh, in Chiba, kind of between here and Tokyo Disneyland. You can actually go in there and take a look at it. And it's right across the street from, it's across the street from, I believe it was the, the Sapporo Brewery or Kirin. It was Kirin Asahi or Sapporo, one of the three. Oh no, it was, it was Sapporo. Yeah, from the Sapporo Brewery. What? That is the coolest dental office in the history of dental offices. It's groovy. Look at that. It's like a 1970s dental oh, office. It's a museum. Oh, it's a dental museum too? No, no, no. It's a dental office, but it seems like an art museum. Yeah. What's going on there? That dentist has got some, got some taste. I like what I see. Straight ahead is the Chu Award. The Chu Award. Um, Incendiary in in um that's where they burn trash. I forget what the technical name is. Incinerator plant. Yeah, something like that. And on the left side you're starting to see the beginning of what is Olympic Village. Those uh brand new apartment complexes. I'm not sure if those are I think they are they are gonna be used for the Olympics. It's so wide here, they have a bicycle path, which I, I'm really digging. This here is the Tsukishima Keisatsu Show, right? And it's a brand new building for the police here. And I, I think that that makes a lot of sense to have a, a strong police presence right across the street from the Olympic Village. They didn't just put um, a police box here, they put a whole police station next to the Olympic Village. Smart. Yeah. Chicago Africans in the house. This super chat is to start only in Japan with Kanai cooking aprons. Ooh. Ooh. Jennifer Dravillis, Vilias. Uh, hello from Chicago, Jennifer. Oh. Go box. O-H. <laughs> Sabino Cruz writes in here, John, where's the gun? The gun show. Go Google. Jaden Westhead's here. Hi, John. Great to see you both out and about. And what looks like a lovely day. Thanks again. It is a beautiful day. Look at these blue skies. And, and we're not far from the rainy season. Bradshaw Studios here. How you doing? David Kumana, Feed Kanai. Hey, Gil. Gil Asakawa is here. He's a member. Welcome to the Traveler. Stan Bonus MD is here. And Bradshaw Studio once again. Looking cool. All right. I want to stop here for just a second and just take this in here. This is the bridge that goes over towards Toyosu Fish Market. And you can see in the distance, they're already building what I believe is either a shopping mall or a hotel across the street from Toyosu Fish Market. And uh, you get a really big, maybe we'll get a chance to go there at the end. But huge I know it is a massive bridge, but there's like very little people on it. This is not, now this bridge was built more or less to free up the bottleneck that was at Ginza. There was a lot of, oh, and there's one of those new fuel buses. It's like a hydrogen fuel cell bus. But this bridge was built to try to, to and then you can see Toyosu Market in the distance, the fish market that replaced uh, Tsukiji Market. But there was a massive bottleneck at that intersection between Kachidoki Bridge and, and uh, uh, Tsukiji. And, this was sort of, I guess, to try to, to free up congestion. There are multiple ways to get to uh, Toyosu and eventually to the docks and the piers. So now there's, not, there's more than one bridge. They're also building just right over here is the cross dock Harumi. 
and they have some sort of wooden building that we might check out at the end of this. If you are renting a bicycle, it's a beautiful bike ride in order to take a beautiful bike ride to go over to Toyosu Market from Ginza. It takes about 15 minutes. It's not too far away from Ginza. 15, 20 minutes or so on a beautiful day like this. I'll take it. All right. Beautiful. Look at these these brand new buildings. Hey, if you're an athlete from the going coming to the 2020 Olympics, 2021, you'll be staying here. Look at that. Man. I bet you they got some really fast Wi-Fi. It's probably beyond Wi-Fi. They made up something new. Hi-Fi. I think that's for audio. Wow. I like that all glass. I'm sure there's a lot of wood involved in, in the construction too, in the inside. This here is the site. Now it's something else, but the site of where that trade show was back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. A lot of people had come here. And I believe there's a memorial marker to uh, show respect to what was once the trade show place. But it just deteriorated over time and they had to move it to another location. So we're walking, we're now right now, if you're joining us, uh, walking down to the Olympic Village. The main village is over here. Do you see those buildings in the distance? And it feels like, I don't know, it's like deserted out here, right? That's why we don't have to wear masks tonight. There's like nobody here. Yeah. Because you, you, there's no population really. Whoosh. Yeah, inside of here you can, I, I believe there's like a memorial marker. Do you see it? All I know is there's a pull-up. How many pull-ups can you do? I can't do a lot. <laughs> can't do a lot. This is where they burn the, the rubbish. Yeah. They used to have the Harumi, um, the Chuoku. Every ward in, in Tokyo, almost every ward had a, a fireworks festival. And they used to have the Chuoku Chu Ward Fireworks Festival. And you'd have to walk from Kachidoki Station, which is about a 20 minute walk, out to here. And it was right in front of this, this big tower. Uh, I guess you would call it, I don't know, a, a chimney. You could put your blue sheets down and wa watch towards what you see coming up into your screen. And if you are an Olympian, I am so jealous that you're gonna get a chance to stay here. That's the start of the Rainbow Bridge you can see in the distance. Do you see that? You're gonna have an amazing view of Tokyo Bay. I don't know how far, I haven't been down here. I don't know how far we can go. I haven't been down here in um, in a long time because we couldn't go down here. Check out like all of the check out all of the um, construction poles and cones and things like this to keep you from coming in. This is all new. These roads look look like they were old trucking roads. I'm sure they're going to repave them. But what you're looking at right now is the new Olympic Village. Oh, these look nice. I love the colors. Arthur Shibuya, welcome traveler. Heski 10600. Will you really dine in Taiko Chaya Sashimi Buffet Restaurant near Askozabashi Station, Tokyo? Ah. I wish you'd do a video on that buffet restaurant. That's like a good idea. I she know. loves buffets. I know that shop. Oh, you do? Yes, the, the owner, the owner, is standing at the Asakusabashi, in front of Asakusabashi station. He always said, do this, guts, guts, guts to the people. He punches yeah, the them in the guts? No, no, no. He, he, he greeting oh. every, every morning okay. to the people. That's in, nice of him. In front of the station. That's good. Yes. Oh, Asakusabashi. Asakusabashi. Oh, that guy, yeah. yeah. He tells, yeah, he cheers on, there's a guy in front of Asakusa's uh, Bashi station. He said, dude, he did, dude. He, he cheers on, <laughs> so he's not the owner of it, but he no, cheers no, he's on. he's the owner. He's the owner? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. He, he was doing every day. Wow. So he, he's, he's one of the people that cheers on the businessmen, the salarymen who put on their ties and go to work every day. They have kind of boring lives, I guess, 
so he goes out there and says, fight, do your best, do your best to encourage them. Because I, I think salarymen do need a lot of encouragement. It can, I guess it can seem like a boring job. This is so beautiful. Hoto Plaza Harumi Mai. This is a new bus stop. Or is it, is it new? Oh, this, so this goes going to Tokyo Station. So the, there is a bus that does come down here. Look at this, Kanai. It's all brand new. What is this building? Trash building. No, no, this has to be something else. Like a, This looks like probably going to be a, a Starbucks or some cafe or something. And uh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. There's like people look up to us. We can't. <laughs> can't, be, can't be bad. Be good. I think that's our feeling is that we want to go and see more, but we can't. No, can I? Look what they did. They made this like you can run around it. I'm going to come down here and run around it. Can I? I'm glad that you didn't go try to jump it. You don't want to do. You don't want to do that. Um, let's go take a look. I, we can't go any further, and that's a shame. You used to be able to go. I don't think that's one of the attractions. That's not an attraction of this area. Why are you waving at them? They don't see you. They don't see you. What are they gonna do? They get, he's gonna come down and give you a ride? <laughs> We're having fun. Let's get as close as we can get. I, I don't think we have a problem with traffic. I don't think there's anything coming this direction. <laughs> there's, not a, there's, not a, there's like three people in the area, if that. Um, right there, folks, is... We can't go. Yeah, we can't go any further. Um, unless you want to do that fence climbing thing and then I'll film you get arrested. That's, that's not something you want to, want to, want to ever happen. The, the, there's a bicycle in here, so I know there's somebody in here. How'd that bicycle get there? Is this like a scene from I Am Legend? What I do you know. think? Yeah, it's this is a scene from I Am Legend. There's a bike in there. And it's completely deserted. Clint Barnes writes in here, thanks for showing us what we are missing this year from Clint and Muggs. Hey, Muggs. Misty, welcome. And Ben Chow and authors here. Thomas21, Bull Runner. Wow. So we're, we're kind of looking now, right now, into the Olympic Village. We're going to walk around a little bit. But it looks like an eerie scene from what could be like I Am Legend 2, a Will Smith movie. Going to turn into a Kanai movie soon. It is very interesting. Rainbow Bridge is just in the distance there. Yeah, if you can film inside, it's, it will be fun. Yeah. I'll try to get access. I think. Yeah. I think because of the. Um, I wanna dance here. <laughs> you wanna dance right there? Yes. That would be really cool. Yeah. I can see Kanai dancing, right there. That's the best way to break this place in, right? Yeah. Have have a, a dancer in there doing it all right let's move over here to this corner now these apartment buildings here look i know kanai's like a rebel today <laughs> who wrote that it's gonna be so mad mad hata it's, these are gonna be so beautiful so amazing when people do come here i wonder what it's gonna how it's gonna be buzzing with life if this is gonna be a park here mm. but j j and fk is right this does look very creepy um this could be a park, a parking lot. I don't think it's gonna be a parking lot. They're probably gonna have self-driving cars coming this direction from what I hear. But each one of these buildings has a name already. It's pretty beautiful. After Olympics, many people live here. Yeah, I think they said 2023, they're gonna um, have the general public be able to move in here. I think they already have a contract or something, so I wonder if they do. Um, yeah, the Harumi <laughs> flag has an office. If you're interested in getting these apartments, if you go all the way on the other side of the Harumi Island, and I put a link in the description so you can see what this island looks like. If you go all the way to the end, there's a, a corporation that, I think it's Sumitomo, will, is selling, uh, and you can see one of the very few um, cars that have access to here 
are the public transportation, the buses. This one's going back to Tokyo Station. Where is this going? Can it's I? Going to Harumi. A Harumi. Oh, that means we can go this way. Hey, there's hope, Kanai. We can go in. Dun, 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 dun. Breaking the law legally. We're legally breaking the law. Shouldn't say that. <laughs> we're, not, we're not breaking the law. We're just trying to act cool in front of a thousand people. Yeah, I, I saw the news some strange people, some strange people went inside the Olympic, not stadium, Olympic uh, uh, place. A venue. Like, yeah, pro, like pool and. Then, oh, they went into the Olympic pool? Yeah, like a pool or some building for Olympics. Yeah. Some strange man. Went some strange to, man? Went to, went to Olympic place. Was it anybody I know? I know some strange people. <laughs> PBJ, where are you doing that? Peter? Peter, in and out quick. <laughs> Uh oh, I just saw the, the blonde John emoji, dangerous. I like this, again, like the, one of the themes here is wood, but that's not wood, so that's bamboo. So uh, that's because I'm excited. Because nobody here. I know, it's, Only it does, you, you can hear me echoing, echo, echo. Wow. That's bamboo. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know, you didn't yeah. know that. Whoa, very cool. I love, I love that this look cool. to it. This is such a nice Japanese look to it, to put bamboo on the outside of an apartment complex. It kind of makes you feel, um, look at the entrance there. It makes you feel like you're in nature, really. I could live here, but I can't afford the rents. They said it was like one, uh, $500,000 was the entry price for apartment, probably low floor apartments. Do not enter, careful. I wasn't gonna enter. <laughs> Do not enter. No, I'm not gonna enter. We're, we're law abiding citizens. Well, she is, I'm a law abiding resident. Inseparable. Oh, you can see Toyosu. I can see on the other side Toyosu Fish Market. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go to the end. Oh, can I? This is where we remember. This is where we watched the fireworks no, festivals. I think, actually, we better that street. I think we can wrap around. Because nobody here. It's okay. We can, we'll wrap. We'll wrap around over there at the end. This is the end of Harumi Island. And um, we can wrap around and go back the other way. I want to show you some of the apartments that the... the I, I, this is a really cool. This is the closest that I've been to one of the... Um, oh, I forgot to show the entrance. Hold on, can I? This is the closest that I've been to one of the apartment buildings for the, Olymp the Olympic Olympians. Cool. I know. And in, in 100 years, this video will, will have a lot of value as they de demolish the Olympic Village in the year 2120. <laughs> They're gonna look back at this video and go, look at that! It was nice when it was all like that construction sand. It's a good observation um, from Tuotaku. The bamboo looks randomly placed as in nature. It's a good observation, indeed. It, it's true. We'll we'll take a look at the balconies of the apartments here. I think that that that's kind of a neat idea. What? Yeah, we'll go over to no, the other side. To oh, he's coming to us? No, we can, we're allowed to walk this way. There's no bridges here. See? You're so scared. At the end here, we'll walk around here. This is very nice. So this is over here is the Rainbow Bridge. Can I so scared? There's Odaiba over here. Do you see over there? That's what I'm talking about. This is why I wanted to bring you to the end. 
That over there is the Fuji TV building. That's Odaiba Island. It's beautiful. What are you so scared for, Kanai? Everything's gonna be all right. She's just, she's scared because it's a new area. Wow. Yeah, we can go down there. So this is, this, these are Olympic villages. So in, in about a year, a little bit over a year, there'll be swimmers and gymnasts all hanging out and getting down tonight. She's looking for the, she's looking for the op it's not a it's not a problem. This is the end of it. Nobody can go further. This is where the bus goes down here. This is pedestrians. Look, the, that runner went over there too. Everybody knows that, Kanai. What? Oh, you can I found information. Oh, so this is what it was looked like. I've been over the course of the live stream has been showing you a little bit about how the, the evolution of Harumi Island has been going. Here's what the tip looked like um, when construction started in 2017. And I believe I came and I live streamed from this area or I, I was videoing from this area looking at this. 2017? Yeah. 2016? 2016, nothing. it looks like there was nothing here at all. Yeah, and you can see the traffic patterns that, that are going to be right here. Um, so this is what the Olympic Village will look like. Here's the layout of the Olympic Village. Uh, building 18, 14, 16, B14, C18. So they, they have letters and numbers. This is the first time I'm really seeing this, you know? Uh, multi-mobility station, multi-mobility station. Um, what is it like a bus station? So they they gonna make some bus station, I don't know, train. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, right here. That's the, uh, oh, in front of the police station over there. All right, let's go take a look-see. Now this, this is the, um, the reason why we can go in here is that this is the ferry per, uh, terminal, I believe. And that dude's a little... Showing some moves, Mr. Motorbike. This is this is where the ferry terminals, the international ferry terminals, are now docking here. Uh, pre previously, they were on the other side of Odaiba. Uh, there were some ferries docking, and they were also docking over there, Takeshiba Port, where which is the port where we go off, off to Ogasawara oh, Island. Market. I know. There's the fish market. There's there's um, you can do barbecuing on the other side. Yeah. There's so many little uh, event things that a lot of people don't know about, including residents of Tokyo don't come out this way because it's so far away. But it's kind of interesting from this side to see from Harumi Island looking over at uh, Toyosu Fish Market. And on top of the fish market, you can see is a garden. There's some green grass up there. You can go up there. I've done that in another live stream, I believe. That's where the fish auction is held. And there's construction of a hotel and a shopping mall of course <laughs> you have to have shopping malls and there's there's some of the the ferries over there again because this is the international fair i guess we can go take a quick look see can i people are going in there Welcome everybody, if you're joining us on a beautiful sunny day in Tokyo. This is Harumi Island. This is a new island. It was uh, a landfill island in Tokyo that was finished in 1929. Um, and people started to um, move in in the 1930s, factories. And then it wasn't until the 1990s that they started putting residential buildings here. So the population has been growing pretty quickly. We're walking on this island because behind us is the Olympic Village. This, this is where all the Olympians are going to be coming. And Kanai and I will be here to welcome you Olympi Olympians. Because we want to hang out 
<laughs> Show us your medal. Could I want to touch a gold medal? <laughs> and the cool thing about the gold medals for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics is that they're made from recycled electronics. They take little little trace elements, little trace amounts of gold and create it. Oh, that's the bus station, first of all. That's interesting. Let's go up. This, I believe, is the International Ferry Terminal. Wow. We're about to get an amazing view of Rainbow Bridge over there. It is such a hot, hot summer day. Look at this. This is what you would put on a postcard, can I? Yeah. We're going to come here again with camera. I'm holding one now. <laughs> she said you better. Oh, it's a smartphone. You want, you want the better camera. Uh, on the other side there is the Toyosu. Lala Port is over there. It's a shopping mall that I took you not too long ago in a live stream from the, the first. I took you into the 1974 7 Eleven. The first 7 Eleven Japan that to start up was over there on that side. And that was the live stream about two days ago. Thanks so much for subscribing, everybody. I know if, you're, if you are here, you're probably a subscriber. And it's always a little bit more fun to watch these live streams live because that the live streams. So you want to watch them live. It's pretty nice. Very quiet. It is. Um, our, one of our secret favorite spots, I'm not going to tell you, is over here on the tip. See, there's some stairways, a uh, staircase there, and you can sit there and watch the entire Tokyo Bay. I'm not going to tell you that. So just ignore that. If we see a vending machine, we might stop over for a drink. Oh, can I? We can go even higher. Well, we're gonna get an awesome view into the Olympic Village from up here. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's keep going. Wow. Look, all right, you go until they say you can't go. That's my policy. That's a journalistic approach. Oh, it's open. Oh, she, she's scared. She's scared. She's probably right too. Fortune favors the bold, and so do, so does getting in trouble. <laughs> wow! Do it, do it, Matsumi goes in. A triple do it. Wow. Just so you know, um, programming note, this is re reclaimed land. Uh, it was started in 1929, it was finished in, uh, I think it was 1937, and then they started moving in factories. And uh, residential neighborhood, which you could see over here, started in the 1990s. Kachidoki Station started in the year 2000. So before 2000, it was so inconvenient. In fact, it still is pretty inconvenient, but we have bikes. Nice. Alright, programming note. If you use the Toby emoji to travelers and insiders, three times, there's a rumor that he will attack you and, and be summoned on your side of the camera. So do not use triple Toby, okay? Nosh, I told you, look, I, I cannot take responsibility for crows that might swoop down and steal your, your baby. I don't, look, it's up, if you do it, that's up to you, okay? I don't want it on this side of the camera, that's all. Just triple Toby, it's called, it's like that, you know, Bloody Mary, you, you know, or Candyman. Don't say Kanai three times. It's creepy. Just do not summon, summon Toby. Imagine he would swoop down. I'd be able to see him though if he did come. I'd be able to see him because we are surrounded by water. There's no way that he could do a sneak attack. The bull runner. Okay, that's like 20 Tobies. You, if you go past three, I think it 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 cancels the order. <laughs> to bring Toby. Your order has been canceled. Over there, you, now we got another view. Look, if you say my name three times, who said that? 
Gregory Lawson. Look, saying my, my name three times does not make me come to the screen. And it, you don't want me going over there. I didn't take a shower yet. All right, this this is the stairway um, that you can sit at. And can I ate and I ate a bento there about two months ago in a live stream. But what is most impressive is the end of the end of this point here. And it won't be the end of the live stream because we have to walk back to the bicycle, which is by the police station. We're gonna get like a massive, amazing view of, of, uh, I know, this is a nice date spot. Should have brought, we should have brought two bentos from the New York uh, Halal place. <laughs> Mr. Halal. Mr. Halal, she's calling him. It's a nice guy. All right, there's people here. For travelers, you can now use the John is wearing a mask emoji. Wow, what a view. Do you see that over there? That in the middle of your screen. Dun, 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 is something that Godzilla broke down and destroyed 50 years ago and it still stands. It's Tokyo Tower. Raymond, you got that right. It's a beautiful day here. Mervyn Lee's in the house. From Singapore. Thank you, Mervyn Lee. Yeah. Oh, you, you just... Oh, you can see the Yuri Kamomi line. Can I have spotted the, the Yuri Kamomi line, which is not a monorail, by the way. Thank you to James. James, uh, happy, happy railing, happy rails for correcting me the other day. All right, let's go take a look here. Wow, so you ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now live over Tokyo Bay. Check out this view of the Rainbow Bridge on a beautiful sunny day. Slight breeze here. Before, before the ferry terminal was here, you can see where the island stops. And this is the end of Harumi uh, Island. And it's, it's very much a square that goes all the way around to that point. And then the square continues. So it's, it's just a block that's made from reclaimed land. It's a beautiful one, isn't it? You can go down on the first floor all the way to this point. On the second floor, you can go down, go to this point, but we're on the third floor of, of the uh, ferry terminal. And you can see some boats coming in, but since, since the pandemic hit, ferry passenger boats have really been cut down and there haven't been a lot of um, boats, uh, including the space boat, has not been making its way through here for a very long time. Although there was a sighting of the zipper boat Marty showed me the other day. The night view is stunning. Now I've, I've shown a couple of times from this point here on Instagram looking, in fact, if you go to my Instagram, only in Japan TV, you'll see two pictures taken there at night looking back towards this way with Tokyo Tower and the Rainbow Bridge in the, in the background. It's a beautiful sight. And you'll even see this thing blinking, which now stands before us. Those of you waiting for a crow to swoop down and take Kanai's hat are, will be disappointed. Toyosu Fish Market. Tony P wishes for you to hit that like button. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. We should get to a thousand likes with this too. Come on, guys, show some love. Subscribe and ne never miss a live stream, which actually is technically not true because sometimes the notifications don't get to you, which is why Patreon exists. Can I, you can dance here legally, no one, and the uh, officer of the, of the law won't mess around with you. Look at this, this is beautiful. And this is a Sunday, everybody, no, typically, this, everything would be really crowded. There's the bridge that I wanted to show you, and um, 
the space boat does one of the space boats does actually come through here and docks at Toyosu's Lala Port shopping mall, which is uh, uh, leaves I think twice, two or three times a day. All right, we're gonna move over to this side. The wind has picked up a little bit. Yeah, that's the Olympic Village. Now we're gonna walk back around towards the bicycle. Maybe we're gonna take a detour towards that uh, Harumi building. There's another Harumi building that I wanna check out. But the first, a little bit about the history now, the first buildings that started coming in um, was the, uh, what is it called? Uh, Harumi tr tr Triton? Harumi Triton. Triton. Yeah. yeah, Harumi Triton. Harumi Triton is a shopping mall that is actually on this island. And uh, if you're coming from from Tsukishima Station you, or Kachidoki Station, you can Kachidoki. walk there in about... Yeah, it's Kachidoki closer. is closest. It's kind of, it's sort of in between there, but Kachidoki is much, much closer. And, uh, oh, let's go. Okay, let's ch check it out over here. Oh, wow. But that shopping mall's been open for a while and it's really beautiful and laid back. There's almost no, no travelers here. We get to the 500 likes, everybody. Oh, I <laughs> what makes you think they're YouTubers? They could be. They have a gimbal. Maybe they're gonna do like a skateboard prank. Yeah, do the skateboard prank. It's radical. It's rad, what? gnarly. What? Oh, wow! Oh this is like a scene from Goonies. Dun. This is cool. Junk, give me your dominoes. We can't go in there yet. Oh, you can't go in there. What? Wow. No, are you serious? Nice Wait, can we go in there? Follow the yellow. If if there's an opening, can I? We can go in there. Hold on. Follow the yellow gate. No, 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 no. 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 That's like a. That's like a pirate ship. What? It's a pirate ship. It's a pirate ship that's never been played on before. It's awful. Can't believe the city is making us, like, showing us eye candy, and we can't go and play around with it. You can it. play next year? You know who's going to be playing on this? Like, <laughs> Michael Phelps. He might, he might come back, who knows. Michael, if you're watching this, come back and show us Pirate Boat. You can swim around it. There's actually no water, so just, just beware. A pirate knows not what offense is. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> A pirate would not be stopped by a fence. And Michael Phelps, if you do come in the Olympics, Michael, I'm talking directly to you because I don't think you're watching this, but if you, if you look up there, see that, see these rooms right up here? Whoosh. Imagine the view that you would get as a multi-time -Olymp Olympic gold medalist. You would probably get to stay up here with a beautiful view of said pirate boat there. No water. It doesn't float. Pirate would learn Learn the rules before they break them. Peso knows my mantras. <laughs> That's a beautiful building. This one here has more of a blue motif. Looks more, more, um, uh, what's the word? Marine? It's got like a marine color to it. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. I, and look at the trees. They've, they've planted in some of these... Are they fake trees or real trees? I guess they're real trees. I say it's real. I bet you when the Olympics starts and NBC starts rolling cameras, just remember how high this tree was and see if it made any growth. It's about two floors, two stories high now. Okay, see if that tree has grown. NBC, if you're watching this, contact me because I'll be happy to report for you. All right, let's take a look now. Um, back down towards the village from this point, and then we're going to go around. We can't actually go into the street but I, it's kind of neat to be able to show you inside of the Olympic Village. Uh, I'm going to try to get access to, to go in there with the media next time they open it up. Um, because I think it, this, this channel, Only Japan Go, this is what you subscribe for. We almost have 200,000 subscribers. That means we get access to amazing things because we have an amazing uh, uh, community of people here. Yeah, so don't just click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Get to see more kanai if you're in a traveler <laughs> what is it like that? it's true it's, it's technically just it's true there's the bamboo building like what like the video as it, it also helps you to get the notifications because youtube 
so a little algorithm thing tells you that, oh, you like that video, so it will suggest that again. You must really like Only in Japan. It makes me feel really good. Can I, you want to go up and see the um, YouTubers? We talk the same language. Talk to YouTube. All right, so um, I'm gonna, I, I still have a little bit more history in the well for you to tell you about this island. Here's the, it's the, the um, name is the Tokyo Harumi Passenger Terminal. And it goes up to seven floors and there's an observat observatory oh, wow. deck. That's we could possibly go up there. Oh right uh, yeah, it might be closed because of the, uh, uh, it says Shin Gata Coronavirus. Shin Gata Coronavirus. Here, they, it's so long. They don't write COVID-19 there. Shin Gata Coronavirus. Whenever you hear the news, they say the whole thing out. The red sign says, um, it tells you about the virus and uh, it's not, it's not open right now. Konnichiwa. Yes, so those joining us, we are at Harumi Island. Thank you, we've been almost one hour and we're gonna be making our way back towards the bicycle. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the history of this, um, about this. Now these are live streams. If you're watching this in playback and you're, and you're crying like, why are, why are you making these so long? It's because people get the notifications at different times and it makes sense to just kind of keep going. Michael Watson, welcome, you are now a traveler. It's nice to see we've, we've uh, I've started the YouTube memberships as a way to kind of make make the chats a little bit more fun. But um, I'm gonna be doing a video introducing this a little bit more next week about the memberships. I wanted to gauge this and see how, how the feelings are of people. So if you wanna leave a comment below about, or even in the chat, about how you think these memberships are going, if you like them, don't like them, any criticisms, any uh, praises, anything that's the emoji, what you think, any suggestions, let us know because I think that the, um, the more tools that YouTube gives us, the more we can try to make this more interactive. And of course, we'll make more revenue for the channel, which means that we can travel some more too. Shout out to our patrons who make that happen. More emoji. Stephen WK. All right. Stephen writes in here, more emoji. All right. You know, do you know how it works, Stephen? The more, the more you, um, the more members we get, the more emoji slots we get. So, <laughs> the more travelers, Fernando knows, Fernando knows, and Gulo, thank you, Fernando. The more, the more um, that we have, the more slots. Right now we have, I believe, 15 or 16. Our goal is like 50, I don't know. So I think that's the most you can get. Actually, I would love to have animated emoji. Can I, you wanna climb that wall? It doesn't say you can't. It doesn't say you can't, technically. The chop, the chop is writing here, do it. I said do it. I don't wanna be stupid. But Brendan said, no, stop. Okay, Brendan neutralized that. See, these emoji have a big impact on us. Gamer Pro, that's why I put that there. I, I suggest crazy things and don't do them because I have a don't, no stop emoji. <laughs> Monique, Monique, do you remember that? Monique, do you remember that when we did park? I did parkour on the other side. I know Goku ninety five remembers that. I, I, that's where I ripped my shorts, um, doing parkour. You did parkour. I tried to do parkour. You want to do parkour. I don't want. Do you do parkour? Can you do parkour here? Parkour that fence. I ripped my pants. It was embarrassing. You could be because it was. You could hear the rip. If it, if you didn't hear it, I could probably get away and people wouldn't know. But it was too obvious. And I think I screamed like a girl. That I ripped my pants. That didn't help either. Right. Who wrote that there? Why climb the wall? Because it's there. Tiao Piak. Thank you. All right. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. We're we're gonna be moving in towards the buildings. Uh, we're on the sea. This is the, we're just departing the passenger ferry here. This is the uh, Harumi passenger ferry, and a lot more boats are gonna be coming this way because the Olympic Village is here, and 
uh, th this is where the buses depart, as I showed you there. So you can actually, I believe, take a bus from Tokyo Station now. And the, the, the bus systems, these green and yellow buses are toy buses. Meaning you can get a, a toy does the, the subway, right? Toy subway. But if you get a one day pass for 700 yen, it has access to the buses for the entire day as well as the toy subway line, which I thought is a really good deal. Um, so we can go over there. That's a K-bean or a security guard. He's patrolling the area for safety reasons. There's a lot of riffraffs in, in this neighborhood. You know, riffraffs never think that they're the riffraff, right? Quick, Vincent, welcome, you are a traveler. This is the um, Olympic Village once again. I'm panning over from the street. This is the Olympic Street. They should call this Michael Phelps Avenue. I'm a big Michael Phelps fan. Ryan, nice to see you outside, John. Will you cheer for Japan or USA for the Olympics? Eh, can I, who are you gonna, who are you gonna cheer for? Who are you gonna cheer? America or Japan? Eh, Japan. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How about you? I'm gonna cheer for both. Yeah. I cheer for, I cheer for the countries that my friends are in too. I, I, I would cheer for India too, but India's got like three athletes, so. Which is weird out of a population of 1.2 billion or something. They have the athletes from India are so small. If cricket ever became an Olympic sport, India would have the most gold medals. Cricket and, and if, if like riding from trains without doors also was a sport, it kind of is. If they made it an Olympic sport. Old Skiji Market is this way. New Toyosu Market is this way, and we're on an island between the two. And probably in about um, a few months, there's gonna be grass here in front of the door. I believe this is the front door of this apartment complex for the Olympians. Yeah, I cheer, I cheer, for, I cheer, for, I cheer for Romania because I have friends in Cluj Napoca. I cheer for when they're doing gymnastics, like go Romania, and then when the Americans come, I start cheering for, for the U.S. team. So I got no consistency. It's awful. Yeah, just enjoy it. Yeah, I kind of just enjoy it, yeah. Although, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm cheering for the U.S., of course. And in the front of my mind. In fact, it's all over my mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I did look at these, some of these apartments here. They're kind of pricey. Uh, most of them you have to purchase. And they started at about half a million dollars those two apartment buildings there. It's a beautiful park between them and the Olympic Village is now connected by a bridge so you can walk across on this side of Hanumi Island. This looks like a place, is that like the dining hall for? Look at that, those signs kind of, they're so new. These are Olympic signs. They're gonna say like, uh, Village 7 is over this way, Village 12 is this way, Michael Phelps Avenue this way. It's awesome. I, I want to christen this street and just run down it. I don't know, there's some carnal desire to do that. How did that bicycle get on the other side, Kanai? I? I think... Is you think that's like police officers, the K-Bean? No, Rent a cop. He, he's working inside the building. Oh, he's working inside? Yeah. There is some construction, I hear some, some construction there. Oh. David writes in, tall buildings make him sick. <laughs> what? I, you mean like looking at them? You, you look at them and you, you feel bad? This looks like what could be the mess hall? I don't know. The, the yeah, the restaurant. Yeah. Alright, that's interesting. So, um, that's Harumi Futo, right? Yeah. So if you're coming from Tokyo Station, uh, the bus going towards Harumi Futo. This building here is one of my favorites though with the bamboo. So the two otaku, you know, you can see it from a, a distance. Yeah, Harumi Futo, this one's out of service. In a year, all this will be green and beautiful and there'll be tons and tons of people, but right now, it's pretty much quiet. Is that a, yeah, these are all part of the Olympic Village as well on the other side. There's another bamboo uh, apartment building. It's got bamboo on the front of it. 
that makes it, it kind of obscures the view, view, but if you're sitting on the balcony, it does look like you're in a, um, a bamboo forest kind of with an obstructed view somewhat. I think it's a pretty good idea, but I can see it might, might get annoying. You might want to get out that katana, get rid of that bamboo maybe, I don't know. Landlord might not like it. It's gonna change our law next year. I know, this is gonna be so different in a year. It's nice to come here and take a look. Uh, live streams are part of the record, you know. Irvine's in the house. Get something at the first vending machine you encounter. There's a Lawson's on the way back. Karen writes in here, the buses look so clean compared to the U.S. buses. People, people are pretty clean people in Japan. <laughs> they stay clean. It's quiet, isn't it? All right, there's no convenience stores here, but I heard that um, there will be a couple of convenience stores inside of these apartment buildings. One of the biggest problems and the reason why um, this island, Harumi, now we're on the end of it. This is the Olympic Village on the end of Harumi Island, and now I'm going to show you looking straight up at the entire island of Harumi here. The reason why this is not so popular and kind of we have to cross over to the other side is that uh, that's one of these fuel cells. There's nothing to do here. There's no entertainment, right? Yeah. It's so quiet. This is a, a new fuel cell bus. I know that because it says on the side, it says fuel cell bus. Yeah. Cool. It's, it runs on hydrogen, I think. Dun, 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 dun. Fuel cell bus. Pretty awesome. It's Echo Bus. Andrew Munro, Munro writes in here. Hi, John. My dog Honey loves watching your streams. She looks at the TV until I turn your turn on your streams. <laughs> really? Hey, Honey. Let me. I can talk to Honey. I said, how you doing, honey? This is a serious show. All dogs should love this show. You have anything to say to honey? What? You just talk to honey. Look, I respect all animals. I think we sh if, if humans were to come down to the animals' levels, we would have much better communication among the species. And a lot more bites. So we used to have a Pomeranian, um, a Pomeranian dog, and I could imitate the barking pretty much uh, exactly the same. So we would talk and we would bark at mailmen. We'd bark at the UPS guy, especially with the brown shorts. We would bark at various cars and deer that walked by our house. Especially the deer, sometimes a rabbit. We had turkeys going through there. Yeah. Stacy's also watching. DHL. Those guys don't come around too much. UPS is mostly the guys. Let's see if we could find that marker. So here's the Olympic Village on this side as well. There's a lot of motorcyclists coming through here. They're just riding around. This is a good place to, to practice driving as well because there, there's uh, not a lot of people driving here. So if you're taking, um, like practicing turning as a beginning, beginning driver, Harumi is a great place to do that. Like me? Yeah, like you. <laughs> Sammy's here. Oh my God, I caught you live. How you two from Crazy USA? So African Safari, Chicago Africa writes in here, this is for Kanai's review of the food from the food truck. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess, I guess we can get, I guess we're, I guess we're think we're gonna do food truck for lunch. I don't think we're gonna walk all the way down to Harumi, um, uh, tri, tri, Triton, Triton? Yeah, Triton. I don't think we're gonna walk all the way there. I've already taken you on a live stream to yeah, Triton. The yeah, they do have a food court in there. But I think you want street food, no? One of the, truck. yeah. Chicken over rice. Uh, I'm actually not wearing sunscreen, 
but you wearing sunscreen? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't... Because uh, I got the tan yeah. last time. I wear sunscreen <laughs> in Australia, but Japan's sun is... Um, the thing with, the thing with um, Japan is it's so humid, you start to sweat mm -hmm. and like ridiculous amounts of sweat. Especially June. Yeah. No, especially August and the yeah. end of July. Yeah, Mushiatsu. Now is fine, right? Just saying. That's the incinerator building, indeed. Uh, if, if you've been watching now for an hour, you probably have seen this before. Well, our bicycles are on that corner, and we're going to ride over to um, that Google Park to uh, get some street food. But I, I'm going to sneak in here just for a little bit and put on my mask and see if we can find... Oh, look at this doggy! Honey! Dog park. A lot of people have dogs here. You don't need a dog if you can speak dog. Dogs come to you. And we're now walking in the uh, incinerator park. There's supposed to be a monument, Kanai, to um, the fair, tr the trade fair, which was here, but I don't see that. Uh, I don't have any alcohol to wash my hands, so I can't do pull-ups. Safety first. And it's an excuse, because uh, it's really hot. And I'm kind of hungry. So maybe this way? Do you think, do you think we should go up, can I? Alright, I'm just going to shotgun this. Hold on. You don't, do you want to go up? I'm going to go up real quickly. There's bugs up here. I came up here so you won't have to. I don't see anything, can I? All right, let's go back down. It's a wasted trip. Just burned 13 calories. That's not a makeout point. There's video cameras there, someone's watching which is sick, so don't come here by yourself and make out with yourself. Megan, that's one of my favorite emoji right there. I like that one. That emoji neutralizes the Toby emoji. Oh, there it is. I think that's it, can I? I found the monument. Hey, Renee, welcome, Traveler. Hello. Yeah, this is it. This is the memorial to the Harumi um, event hall, which had mm. about um, yeah. six million people come and watch events. It's in the shape of a book. It's part of the history mm. from 1959 to 1996. They had an event hall here, and this is the mm. monument. It's hard to find this thing. It's pretty cool. Try finding that in, on in Wikipedia, huh? Yeah. That means you can't find it on Wikipedia. That's what, that's what that means. Hey, Mer580s is an insider. Hey. And Eric, Eric Forsyth, welcome, traveler. Woo. You guys get a zoom, woo. Okay, that's enough. We're gonna make some people sick. That's going to uh, Kinchicho. That bus. It's good to know where the buses are going. Bus travel in, in Tokyo is pretty hard, but once you figure out the way the buses work, first of all, it's a good way to, pre to study kanji. I don't know if you can see that too well. Probably not. That one goes, this one goes to Toyosu Station and uh, to Harumi, where we just were. 
And now we're at the Coppers. This is where the police station is. Oh, these? Yeah, I looked at apartments here as well. They started at about half a million, too. Oh, I want to go see the model room. <laughs> Bayside Tower Harumi is what it's called there. Yeah. Model room. Sumitomo, that's the Harumi Flag Corporation doing the real estate on this island. And there's... Five LDK? I don't think so. I think that would be a cool mill. For that yeah. one, yeah. I think three LDK. Three LDK is enough. And then buy and use this remainder of the money to buy a beso in Nagano or something, right? This is the bridge. It's a new bridge that was opened up uh, going to Toyosa Market. Interesting story about this bridge. In uh, 2018, when the when the um, gas-powered po trucks, the little trucks, made their way. Uh, they had like a convoy going on from Tsukiji Market to Toyosu going down here and the media all set up at the top of the bridge and you got these amazing shots of, of those um, gas powered trucks in the fish market. That's a really nice site. That's um, Takubin, Kuroneko. They have guys on, on uh, hand trolleys that'll deliver packages from little station points all around. It's a good way to save gas. All right, here's our sweet rides. So we're gonna go over to the the street food now. Are we allowed to ride? I can ride if I don't look at the camera, right? Okay. No, but if I don't look at the camera, right? <laughs> it's true, I should have a stand here. I'm really hungry, I wanna get there quicker. I, can I won't let me break the rules if I was by myself I might do it what's the step count Mike all right let me see here in a 10 seconds here I do about 20 steps per second and the stream's been going up for 77 minutes so somebody do the math plus I'd say there's about a 10 minutes of downtime don't live stream and drive that's true that's why she's riding and I'm walking. Ryan writes in here, it's amazing that you don't have to lock your bikes. We did. The bikes, we don't have to lock it to anything, but there's a lock on the back tire. Glenn just wrote in an I'll, I love kanai emoji. Uh, I'll add some more. If we can get another spot or two, I'll add better pictures of kanai for the emoji. It's hard to see that one. 20 steps a second. No, no, 20 steps, two steps per, two steps per second. So that means in every 10 seconds, I take 20 steps because I, I took a sample size of 10 seconds. Now, if you multiply that by six, you have one minute. And then if you multiply that by 60, you probably have the steps, just saying. So I took 2,500 steps. That doesn't seem like a lot. 9,500 steps, that seems like a lot. All right, now we're going back to where we started this live stream. And Harumi Island is, is actually, we've only shown you the half. If you go the other way, do you want to talk about that school, Kanai? Sonogako? What? What's so funny? Oh, uh, yeah. What's special about that, that school? What's special? Harumi? Yeah, Harumi. Um, I went to the high school at Harumi. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. The mic is this way. That's okay, you can keep riding. So you did what? Yeah, I went to high school. Harumi High School. Harumi. Harumi. Whoa. Actually, Harumi Sogo. <laughs> Harumi so, Sogo. She's an alumni. Yeah, it's... The, my high school is like a university. So they have a, maybe over five, fifty, hundred um, classes. Yeah. So I can choose. I can choose my own class calendar. Whoa, at your yes. high school? Yes. That's a then we don't have a chime. That was, and you don't even have chimes. Yeah. Okay, this is this is that dentist, that 1960s um, dentist <laughs> office. Look at that zebra you can ride. And check this out over Ooh, here. Cool. 
Space Invaders, what? Is that real? That's a reason to go in there. I'm, I wanna go to this dentist now. They have rock climbing. I know, look at the lips. <laughs> that sofa's in the shape of lips. It's awesome. That's, and I, I had a friend who was a dental hygienist and she always told me that the Japanese dentists are pervs. So, so don't, don't make friends with dentists shit that she said to me. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't, don't know. My dentist is not, I don't know. She said that. It's awful. I'm just looking at the lips sofa. Who puts a sofa made out of lips in their dentist office? I'm just saying. It's a little bit creepy. I don't know. No? Daijoubu. It's fine for you? <laughs> See, for me, that's like, dude, really? I don't know. If, if I had friends that had a lip sofa, that would be like a Hugh Hefner type of move, I think. No? Am I wrong on that? I don't know. It is weird, right? The Chope writes in weird. They just want to give you a big kiss. They want to give your butt a big kiss because it's, that's where you're planning it, right on the lips. All right, we're going to go over and support. Um, we're going to go get, you want to get that avocado or the, the Mr. New York panai? Okay, you're gonna get some Mr. Halal? I'll get the other one. So, extended bonus. Yeah. Lawson's is um, actually an Ohio chain. Really? Yeah, Lawson's comes from the great state of Ohio, OH. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, a Canadian company bought them, and then they had this idea, um, hey, why don't we package it and, and sell them into Japan? And now they no longer exist in Canada, I think. There's a couple in, in Ohio where they were founded and the majority of them are here in Japan. It's funny, all these chains have some sort of background story. Oh, hey, Shmiyuki. We are back. Ayo. It's an Ohio State thing. I hope the still there. They're still there. Really? Where would they go? Well, they're on trucks. Did they go? Ah, uh, they stay here. Okay, good. Scared me. Food truck's not here. <laughs> Ohio gozaimasu. It's a big joke, but <laughs> like Ohio, you say, where are you from? Ohio, good morning. Oh no, what? A lot of misunderstandings. To say state in Japanese, we say shu. S-H-U, so Ohio shu, Ohio state. Ohio Shuri to Daigaku, Ohio State University. It's a good school. All right, Kanai. Where can we park our bikes? I guess right here. Yeah. We can eat inside of here. Oh, it's awesome. All right, we're going to do it. Look at that key. It's a crazy key. Hold on, can I? Here. Yeah, you can get one of the Mr. Halal and I'll get one of the avocado. Yeah. Actually, do you have Seiyan? I only have Ichiman in here. Okay. All right, well, I'll get you back. <clears throat> it's not okay. Okay, so let me see what they got here. They have an omori size, which is a super large size, and they have a normal size. I'm just going to get the normal size. And we'll go check out. Konnichiwa. Ano, roast beef avocado don onegaishimasu. Hai. Nani? Uh, heck, go to your height. Whoa. Hey.
Can I over there? That looks really good too. We're gonna have to share. We'll have to share. Hey, Irvon, street food action. Larger size? What? Oh, so they have, uh, you can get different toppings too. Wasabi. It's interesting, and they have different sauces, including mayonnaise sauce and water. Eh? Wow. Wow. That looks really good. It's about eight dollars for this. Hey, Brendan, you found the avocado emoji. Cool. Wow, that looks so good. Who's gonna be faster, me or Kanai? Who's gonna have it at? What do you think, Kanai or John? Kanai or John? Vote by emoji. Brendan says John. Looks like Kanai is winning right now. Arthur just says Bento. Palm says Toby. Hey! Remco says Eric and Remco say Kanai. Can what? Jed says Kanai. Yonard. Glenn says chocolate. Jaden says John. Uh oh. Mara? We're still in avocado mode. Uh oh. Oh, roast beef is there. This is gonna be close. Oh, look at that. We're close. This is an avocado. Oh, who's. Oh, what? Uh, wasabi topping, oishiso. Mayonnaise, oishiso, ne. Dotchi no hoga oishi. Oishi no oishi o mayonnaise nan desu. Ah, jah, mayonnaise de, hai. Wasabi mo mokke chatte nan. Ah, so desu ka, hai, chotta dake, hai. Hai. Arigatou gozaimasu. Wow. This is super, it's good. It does look good. Eh, mai nichi, koko ni rashite masu ka? Mai nichi, koko ni iru? Uh, every, uh, every Sunday. Oh, they're here every Nichobi, every Sunday. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. He said it's New York style. That's New York style? Yeah, he said I'm, I'm using the same case. Oh, yeah, that's a New York, yeah. the metal cases. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Ah, All right, let's take this to the Google building. We can eat inside. Can we eat inside? I think so. Is there a sign that says no eating, can I? Yeah. Thank you, Google. Can I, you gotta say thank you, Google. They're watching. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. I'm working. Look at this, Google. I'm, I'm using your stuff, Google. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Google. We got a little chair here, a table. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, that was fun. All right, alcohol. Alcohol, red You got good. Okay. Wet towels. Okay, hold on for a second. I have a tripod. All right, typically though, guys, this would be insider content. So what I'm gonna be doing in the future is, we might extend live streams and then do it as insider ones. So what you're getting is a glimpse of what you would see with an insider. I'm just saying that. Or if you're a Postcard Club member, or Daimyo on, on Patreon. Always wash your hands. Yeah. Good job, Kanai. Alcohol wipes. Safety first. And cleanliness first, really. Chairs are pretty low. Alright, open her up, open her up, Kanai. Let's see what it looks like. These New York halal something. <laughs> Chicken over rice. Chicken over rice. Do you know? I don't know what it's called. Oh my god, it's really popular in New York. Whoa. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. It's pretty famous. I eat at New York. Where's the chicken? I just see chicken. a bunch of healthy stuff. Oh, there it is. Oh, that does look good. This is halal. Halal. But does that make a difference to me and you? I don't know. I think it's Indian rice. Basmati. Oh, basmati, basmati rice, rice, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, Looks great. Your mama will like it. All right. And, oh, this chair is so low. I don't want to go up here. No, if I put it if I put it down here, you're gonna get the worst shot available. Look at that. That's not a. This is not a happy shot for. No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, you can put. It it's a weird shot. It's this. like a, but a leg between the leg shot. It's not. <laughs> it's not funny, can I? It's, nobody wants to see that. It's a long live stream. <laughs> All right, let's unbox this here and take a look. A uh, beautiful view of this yeah. Google C CTL Park. You have a chopstick? Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, the wasabi stuck to the top. That's all right. Mm. All right, check it out. This looks so good. Look at the egg on there. Wow, avocado. Yeah. He said it's homemade mayonnaise, mm. so he says that's the most popular thing here. But it has some pickles there. Wow, I, those are just, this smells awesome. There's some homemade mayonnaise, avocado, and in the center, roast beef. And underneath all this deliciousness is rice. <laughs> because rice is nice. And so are these eggs. Ooh. Wow. Thank you, Irvan. Thank you, Chicago. African, much appreciated. Where did my ohashi go? Ohashi. <sighs> How you doing? Hope everyone's doing well. This is the part of the live stream where you say, where are you watching from? And you can watch Kanai and I <laughs> eat our foods as we read some of your chats here. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Okay, okay. <laughs> from the Philippines, Michigan, go blue. How dare you? Good rivalry. Mm. Oh, that mayonnaise is homemade mayonnaise. I like this. He put some of these dried um, onions on top of it. Yeah. Put some dried onions on top. Mm. Mm. What is it? Really good. That egg on there. Look at that thing. Mm. Mm. You want to try mine? Okay. You better try. It's so good. Mmm. What's in there? Spicy. Yeah. <clears throat> a little bit of Central Asian taste to it. I like it. Mm. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Click that 
thumbs up button if you like these kinds of neighborhood walking tours. We'll come back to Harumi um, in next year to see how this neighborhood has yeah. evolved. Uh, so we'll get another look a year later, or just before the Olympics, uh, because I think that this neighborhood is, is a place that, I mean, I would love to live here, but it's really inconvenient. Uh, it, 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 this is a new uh, landfill island opened in 1937. They started construction in 1929. And uh, it really started becoming a residential neighborhoods in the 1990s. Harumi Triton is the first shopping mall and, and uh, the first thing that brought in a residence here. And now it's the home of the Olympic Village. So it's got a lot of history here. This is gonna be the site of the 1940s World Expo. 1940 also was the time of the 1940 Olympics. Tokyo was gonna be hosting the Olympics in 1940 but World War II happened, so they had to cancel that, and thus canceling a lot of amazing things that probably would have made Tokyo a lot more historic. Um, but, you know, it's history now. And I hope that you really enjoyed it. Um, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you thought of this live stream. Uh, I'll try to put a, a table of content so you can skip through this in the playback. And definitely hit the like button. That's how I know you like this kind of content. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks have to all the new day. members. Yeah, have a good day, everybody. Enjoy the last 20 seconds looking at digital cherry blossoms from Google. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Wow. <laughs>